Hello, and welcome back to Planner Apocalypse, where today I am finally setting up my January pages for the Momento Mori Planner in my Hobonichi Cousin. If anybody missed that setup video, basically I took the pages of my planner, the A5 size of my planner, and I just glued them onto the Hobonichi pages because as you can see I, I didn't use the monthlies except for this one. So to, to clarify this is a spring Hobonichi cousin and last January 2022 I was in my my giant disc bound custom goal planner here and I was using this as you know personal planner daily planner and I also did not use the weeks this is the first week that I set up the planner and I just decided that I I don't really need an hourly overview at this time so I, I quickly stopped using the weekly a few months later I tried using it as like a, a card a day tarot oracle reading but then I, I stopped remembering to do that. This is when I was testing the actual layout in here for the, the Memento Mori planner. This was early October and then I, you know, obviously I had the rest of my planner. I, I think the reason I even did this is because there was some kind of filming thing hanging up my other planner, which is what happens to me sometimes when I'm filming because I have not yet learned how to time management properly. You know what I mean? That's grammar right there. So as you can see, we are already in January. This is, what is today? Today is the 4th of January. So I want to get this started. This was the last week in December. Here is January 1st. So here is this week I've already filled in my moods and my energy because I didn't really keep track of this. This is me like backfilling. Yeah, let's just, that's enough. It's enough of that. Let's just get into it. So this is, this is the monthly. I don't know how this is going to work, whether it's going to work because in the Memento Mori Goal Planner, every month starts with the monthly prep. It goes over you know, your your stars this month for your, your astrology. It goes over just all of these little prompts and it has, it's got the waiting on, but then it goes into the actual monthly calendar. Then you have the brain dump and your, you know, your stuff this month or um, projects and whatnot. And then every month ends with a review. So it might work fine for January, but then I'm going to need like another tip-in sheet or possibly two tip-in sheets per month so it would be the prep page and then the brain dump and stuff this month and then on the other side it would be nothing <laughs> because that's when the the weekly spread would would come into play so I really wanted this to work but I, I just don't think it's gonna but for this month this is where we are this is my happy new year spread here is December 31st New Year's Eve um, as you can see I was not filling out my December pages like at all. I did I did a couple days in December. The Hobonichi cousin is one of my favorite things in the whole world and I just have not been making time for it this year so I don't know. I honestly don't know if I'm gonna be allowing myself to get another one. I might have to wait for 2024. I really don't know. I love it so much though. <laughs> Anyway, so if you watched the Memento Mori Goal Planner series, the planning series, you will know my little chick. I finally came up with a name for him, and his name is Sebastian Bauer. And he is named after Bauer birds, which, you know, if you just do a quick Google search, you will find that the males build these, like, structures, almost like little houses or uh, gateways that the female can walk through. And it's a way to just remind me of, you know, how can I be creative today? And that's what, that's what he's, also he, you know, he's stretchy and squishy and I, I like squishing him. So yeah, that's, that's Sebastian. <laughs> this is the Webster's Pages bullet folio. Um, this is my Muji academic year calendar. This is a dot grid notebook from Notebook Therapy that I, I haven't actually started using yet. My reading notes are on the kitchen table right now with my book. So that's where that is. And... Yeah, so this this is the actual goal portion of my goal planner. At this moment in time, I still have to record the goal setting with the moon phases video, 
which is going to be just a hell of a lot of stuff. And I haven't done this yet because I like I'm still waiting to do it as I record. So I'm gonna just do my best going this way. <laughs> So I, I decided in my, my goal thingy, like my goal setting stuff, I decided that the domains that were going to be concentrated on were finances, practice, and alignment and self-expression. -ex so just grabbing some highlighters here. So this is going to be finances represented by the, the green color. Practice is that light blue and then... Alignment and self-expression. I like this goldenrod color. It might be called marigold. I'm not really sure. I, like all mine are in Japanese, so I, I can't tell you what color that is. All right. So obviously I don't have any stickers, spe you know, specifically that are going to fit this. So I'm I'm actually gonna try to see if I can use the Miss Maker book from I think last last year 2021 Miss Maker and see see how that does stuff you know I also have all my color dot pens here for marking my appointments and my wee skinny pen for wee skinny spaces and I've got my favorite brush pen this is just a spot for notes what can I do I actually haven't even looked through this book yet I'm gonna actually use this one even though it's not gonna fit on here and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut out these boxes and just put them in there or wait I'm going to I'm still gonna do that but I want to see if there's like a background kind of thing I can put it on like one of one of these kind of things this is this is the problem I guess when you don't use a vertical planner, everything in the Happy Planner books is like formulated for vertical planners. By that I mean like the, the three boxes, like, you know, these are made to fit the, the three boxes and I'm like, I don't do that. I'm gonna steal some of these and just kind of put them all over the place. Here we go. <laughs> Right, so I, I have to ask, do people prefer like this kind of take it as you go um, planning video or do you prefer, you know, a voiceover over a completely sped up video? I, I've always kind of wondered that and I, I think I've, I've definitely asked the question before but I didn't have enough viewers to really make any kind of informed decision so if you could let me know in the comments below obviously just doing a voiceover is going to be much easier but if people prefer seeing you know the step-by-step the -step with inner monologue as I'm actually doing it instead of recounting what I'm doing please let me know Number 873, in case anybody is curious. Mother of Pearl. Okay, well, I went over and that's fine. I put away the, the stickers as if I'm done. Also, I, I got this last year or the year before that, just so everybody doesn't think I got off my, my nose bend. So I'm gonna use some of these little deco kind of thingies, stickers, uh, just around because they're cute. Oh, I should have used one of these things for visitation. Oh well, that's what happens. I hope I have nothing on that day. We're gonna take this, make all the things you love, and put it down here in the notes. Make the things you love. Okay, great. I'm also gonna take this sticker that says create, and I'm gonna put it up here as a reminder. Okay, great. Good enough. Okay, that's fine. So what I'm going to do, I've got Muji pens for, you know, in, in the color code for my goal domains and looking at the actual calendar, 
I tend to use dot markers instead of dot stickers because those are a pain for me to try to get down and I tend to like to color code my things so it, it's not gonna these are gonna clash with any spread that I have because these aren't exactly the same colors but I don't really care that much I know that would be a, a big no-no for some people but I don't really mind uh, no school here so Um, I tend to also alternate between a fine point and a, a bold point, or a medium point, I guess, because this is ultra fine, at a 0.3, and this is a 0.7, um, just to give like a headline look. So the reason I'm picking the Myth Maker is because I'm trying to remind myself that this is my maker's year, not that I really need reminders, but I don't know, apparently I do. I'm just trying to keep it in mind that I have to not buy things because this is... So my maker's year is a no-spend year for anybody who's like, what the heck are you talking about? Also, I'm feeling a little froggy in the voice category, so I apologize if I sound less than pleasing. So I haven't set up my budget for this month and I know that I am going to have to cancel a lot of things. I just canceled my Vicky Pass Plus this month for the year, I guess for this year because it's a yearly subscription just because I didn't really use it a lot and it's just an extra expense I can't afford right now. Patreon, I, I would like to keep. I just, I think I need to get a new debit card because every time I try to add my debit card onto my like online Google wallet, it won't take it. So there's something wrong with it. <laughs> so that's super annoying. And I'm probably also going to be canceling my Love 365 monthly pass for my Otome games. I haven't really been making enough time to really utilize it. So I don't know that it's really worth it. So I, I would, I would like to continue with it, but I need to concentrate on paying down my debt. So it's gonna be a rough couple of years. No, it's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. I can do this. Everything's gonna be fine. So we got a couple birthdays, and we've got Vera's birthday, and we've got my husband's birthday here on the thirty-first. He is partially why I made this. One, two, three, four. You know, six six weeks instead of the, the five where you have the split boxes because, you know, his birthday comes in a box that's always split in half and I want to make sure that I can put deco in it. <laughs> so on Fridays, I, I put $5 into savings. Those are my $5 Fridays. I'm trying to build my income to be able to pay off my debt. I'm just marking paydays. Friday is child support and then Monday is when I get my my Etsy payment, which you know might not come every every week. So it fluctuates wildly. Part of being uh, a creative entrepreneur kind of person, which is scary in and of itself. And then I just write down my bills in red. Oh, I forgot my two things. I forgot because it's over there. So I've got my Love 365 on there, and then I also have the Chani app on the 21st. And I think out of all of the things, and I guess I don't, I don't really have that many bills now except for the stupid credit cards, I would like to keep Patreon and Chani. I, I think if I had to choose between Chani and Love 365, I would cancel Love 365. So that would save me about $100 a year because it's like $9.62 per month, I think, which isn't terrible considering the amount of money that I would have spent if I did not have a subscription to buy the stories because you, you get three passes for three full price stories and each story is $5. Your pass gives you one free story per month. Let's put it that way, I guess. You get three stories for the price of two. Thank you very much. I can, I can talk. <laughs> I like the app. I've been with the app for a long time. I, I'm making it sound like it's a relationship, <laughs> but you know, I, I have been on and off their subscription over time. I don't have any more student loans, so that's nice. It's just credit cards and I pay for iCloud. I pay for Google One. I need to cancel up 365. We have YouTube music for the well, it's YouTube Premium. Basically, I've been 
uh, paying for Google Play Music since that came out in like 2012 and I was grandfathered into YouTube Music and then YouTube Premium so I would like to keep that as well and you know I share it with my family because advertisements suck. I will pay you to not show me ads. <laughs> I think that's it. So I'm gonna just make a note. Oh I can make a note in my finances. Ready? <laughs> See? Cancel Love 365. First we're going to say budget and then we're going to write cancel Love 365. I'm going to say cancel Vicky Pass Premium because I know I already did it, but I want to I want to have some some kind of like I did that. <laughs> All right. And then so now I'm just going to look in here and see what kind of things I wrote down in my my goal portion thingy and do that. I will do that for every one. So I, I actually, I did recalibrate my Bricut here and I made my first sticker sampler here. I'm still learning how to, you know, do this so these word things come off uh, as stickers because I, I don't know how to have cut stickers that are also on like an uncut sheet that has words on it that are not cut. I have a Cricut, I don't have a silhouette so we don't have, you know, cut files. I, I am very inexperienced uh, as far as sticker making goes. This is what I have right now. I'm still I'm still debating honestly whether I want to do digital stickers or physical stickers or both. If you have an opinion, you know, let me know in the comments. But basically this is a sampler so you have happy, sad, or this is actually depressed and infuriated, but and then cold, hot, and sick. You would have a sheet about this size, you know, this, this would be the the comparable thing, right? You'd get about 25 stickers like most of these Once More With Love or Coffee Monsters Co. stickers. Anyway, I, I tried to make these like four by six, I think, so they would fit in a photo album, but I'm I'm still working on that. And again, I don't, I don't know whether, like, do I want to do digital? Do I want to do, you know, like printable stickers only? Do I want to do printed stickers only? Do I want to do both? I don't really know. I don't, I mean, I don't know if people would even buy this. So like, I don't want to cut things if people are not interested, you know, because ink costs money and, and I don't want to waste it because I'm trying to be good about that, right? Anyway. I need to also pay taxes. So actually I don't need to do it this month, but I should log expenses and stuff. Maybe get QuickBooks. Okay, I, I think that's, I think that's decent. I don't think I actually finished putting all my appointments on, so there is that. You know, I don't know what I want to do for specific friends, you know? Maybe a, another pink color for other connections. Cause like the light pink has always been my kids. So whenever I see that, that's that's what I'm gonna think. I don't have another dot marker. So I guess this is one of the problems when you color code things. There's so many things that can go wrong. What? Then we have Harry's birthday party on the 22nd. I also have my aunt's memorial service on the same day. Oh shit. All right, I need to I need to figure that out because Harry's birthday and my aunt's memorial is that night, but I also have to pick up Sunny. So we either need to reschedule visitation or something. I'll have to, I'll have to talk to Sunny's dad. I get my ADHD feedback this month, which is nice. I will at least know. I think when it, whenever it comes down to stuff like this, I think I'm just, I'm most afraid of being seen as making it up or being, you know, hysterical, you hysterical woman. And that kind of like experience invalidating line of, of things, you know? Okay, 
Yeah, that's it. That's that's all for that. Great. Okay, that took way too long. So now we're gonna go find the week. And I passed right by it. There it is. So now we're gonna decorate this and try to figure out what I'm doing. So my focus for the week is the Memento Mori Bowl Planner series, which I am, you know, in the middle of. And it's been a, a, a thing. My one thing, what is today? Today is Wednesday. My one thing for today is my January plan with me so I can use my planner. Yesterday was edit. No, yesterday I think was homeschool. And then this was edit. Yo, part four was a pain in the butt. Here we go. We can use some of these decorator things. Oh, is that like a, that's a, like a machine, a die cutting machine. How cute. I can totally make that. That's going to be my mantra this fucking year. I can totally make that. Also, as you can see, my very juicy inkjet printer doesn't like printing on Tomoe River paper, but uh, I, I don't know what to tell you, man. Don't take my dreams away. All right, so we are going to attempt to size this down. This could end poorly. Okay, and then we will get our little cutty cut. Did I put that upside down? I did, you bastard. It's funny because I flipped the book upside down and I still put the sticker on the wrong way. Okay. Got that. Please don't cut through my actual paper. Alright, there's one piece. Use that perhaps. Yay, look at that. Uh, this is just a slice tool. It's got a little tiny ceramic blade, which I should probably replace at some point. All right, so, oh man, we're gonna actually... Please don't rip, oh, you're ripping. You're gonna stay there, okay. I was going to put Big Sale here because someone bought one of my res rescheduled planners. Thank you, Lindsay, for supporting my business. But there's, I think there's another, another small one, like a circle one that says big sale. I know they're saying like, there's a big sale at the store. And that's not what I'm marking. I just like, I made a big sale. Okay. So I've got a little thing that says sale here. Just gonna put it down. Eh. Put it down right there. Uh, I didn't actually have anything going on on Monday, so that's fine. Let's see if we have any more full box kind of thingies. Of course we do. I do like one of these camera-y thingies. That's quite large. These are, these are gonna be what I'm filming. How about that? No, maybe, to film, maybe. I can use that in my other plan, my work planner. Yo, my work planner is totally a mess and that's fine. Yeah, no, we'll just, we'll just do it. Still need to trim. Yep. As you can see, this past week has been very messy. There we go. This is all the stuff that I want to film and edit and whatnot. Even though I have my list there, but um, I I just want to use my stickers. Is that so wrong? I, I guess I'm just gonna take this coffee and crafting and just uh, place it ever so gently right there. I don't have a lot of other boxies that that are, I guess we can, let's take this creativity takes courage and slap it somewhere. I do have stuff this weekend. We can just put this right here. It is a new moon. Um, hmm. Ah! Don't do that. I will, Vera's party is a, yeah. I guess I will just slap it right here. There we go. And then I'm gonna put this planner sash right here because that will remind me that I have to, motherfucker. Sorry, I want to vary up my, my, my colored stickers so I wouldn't put this orange one there instead. There, variety is the spice of life. Here's a piece of that, you know, uh, sticker that I cut up over there. So what can I do? I can make a little boxy box up here and give it a cutty cut. What is wrong with me? Ow, mother of pearl, that hurts. I forgot to take the, the put, put the, put the blade away. Okay, cool. And what now? All right, whatever, it's fine. How about this one? 
put this over here, over here, over here. You, sir. It's fine if it goes over, I don't really, I don't really care. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. We're just gonna wedge this in here for some layering right there. Ah, mother of pearl. There we go. Let's put that like that. That's just, that's fine. That's good. We've got all these nice little things here. All right, we are gonna go like this. And, and then I'm going to, where's my little spongy pinky thing? I'm gonna make that star pink, because it's for my son. And then, you know, we can use a therapy couch, eh? I'm gonna use my therapy couch. There it is. This is from Sparkle and Shine Designs on Etsy. Come in a variety of colors. I'm going to use the black one, eh? Actually, the pink one might look cute. But I think that might be too much pink, so let's use the black. I'm almost out of the gray ones. And I'm gonna go like this. And my little... Uh, I always want to call these milky pens because when I was when I was a youth back in the 90s They came out with you know gel pens and the pastel kind of opaque ones were milky pens so um, I used those quite a bit and then Vera's birthday is here So I need to do that, but we have a birthday party on Sunday So I will mark our birthday party my parents are coming this week and I'm going to just mark my little homeschool purchase on, was it yesterday? So I forgot to include homeschool in my okay to purchase things and I purchased something for homeschool and I did post the receipt online on my story. The issue was that I didn't check with my accountability partner, my husband, first before I bought it, so I need to remember to do that for next time. I'm kind of using this as like a highlighter, kind of, but it um, doesn't work very well. And then we've got, so I'm gonna mark this in my husband's green color, just because this is like a family thing. Also need to meal plan. I also need to plan next week. Sometimes I put, you know, day specific tasks in here. So that's what that's all about. I'm just gonna write how much I spent right here. It was $12.83 for RPG Maker MV for Sunny for homeschool because he is going to make a game. So everything else, what am I going to do with this box? I am probably going to continue doing my HB90 time tracking. So Sarah Cannon has us try to like estimate our time, but honestly, I am very bad at even with the time tracking tools that I now have and the data that I now have it's very hard for me to make predictions of time just because there are so many factors so like last week I just copied down my my time Miller hours logged by category instead of by project which is how I usually do it so this tells me a bird's eye view of the things that I did but I, I like having the how long each project took so I, I think this week I'm gonna go back to what I've been doing for HB90. So I write pomodoros here because task blocks is hard for me to say, so that's why I switched the wording. She calls her, her pomodoros task blocks in her HB90 system, Sarah Cannon, I mean, uh, heart breathings. And that's basically 25 minutes of work with a five minute break you know, in a capsule and you do those. And that's that's the basis of her planning system, sort of. I mean, there's, there's more to it than that, but. This is the total actual Pomodoros here. And then like, this is the estimated number of Pomodoros. This is where you can keep track of your Pomodoros. And then this is the actual amount that you, you did per project or task that you're working on this week. So I'm gonna write goal one. So for me, goal number one would be my finances. So my top domains, right? Maybe I should just write finances because those are my, my focus things, right? We're just gonna write goal number one, goal number two, and goal number three. And then we have recurring tasks. 
tasks because you know everything takes time and then total comms for the week. This is not a lot of room. <laughs> not super pretty, but let's let's add some more deco. How about that? Add this this cutty cutty machine right here. Do I have anything going on on Thursday? I do not. This is gonna go here now. This is gonna live there. Oy vey! Ta-da! Okay, cool. Put some buttons out up here somewhere. Like that. Kind of between stuff. So we're having a full moon in Cancer on Friday. That's exciting. That's when we can release all of our garbage about family stuff. Maybe um, stuff about how you protect yourself or maybe how you get super defensive about things and with my actual mother coming since the moon is you know supposed to be representative of your mother i'm curious to see how this period will play out let's put these paint brushes down paint brushes to cover this oh i didn't put i didn't put my i didn't put pathfinder in here and that's important. You know, I could also use a sticker. I want to use a sticker. I am running, oh, no, I have another sheet. I was gonna say I have, I'm running low on my D&D my &D emojis here, so I will have to make my own after these are all gone. I will most likely run out of these faster than anything else, maybe. Okay, I mean, it's not super great, but that's okay. Maybe I'll add some more things over here. Because why not? When in doubt, just add more stuff. Don't actually follow my advice, please. Because that wasn't real advice. Okay, now I think we're done. We have less space to work with here. I could migrate my task list though. All right, so usually I will write out my tasks in their color using, you know, these Muji pens, just so I can look at my list and see what domain is gonna be prominent this week. And I need my orange because I have to do a lot of cleaning before my parents get here, which is tomorrow, so I don't know if I'll actually get to it, but... So today is actually Wednesday, so I'm going to be backtracking a little bit. Cancel Vicky Pass. We're gonna cancel Love 365, which breaks my heart a little bit, but I'm the asshole here, so it's fine. What else did I say? <laughs> January budget. And then for my habits, I need to, uh, I need to write those. Oh, mother, okay. I'm not done here. I'm not done here, you know why? Because the whole monthly thing like there's more over here. I don't think this is gonna <laughs> I don't think this is gonna work, you guys. Mother of freaking god. Okay. So we're gonna skip migrating just for brevity and such. So I can get this done and not make this 10 billion hours long. So focus this month is going to be the Memento Mori Gold Planner video series. I am most looking forward to a fresh start. Biggest challenges ahead. Nah, not buying anything. Need to let go of this belief that I have to do everything myself. Things to learn. The 12 steps of Debtors Anonymous. Books to read. I'm actually, I changed my mind. I'm gonna start with Shopaholics because it's the smallest book and you know January is already chock full of stuff. So if I have time, I will start on, you know, something else, but that's the one I, I have. It's like an eight week, um, an eight week program, something or other, but that, that's the one I want to start with because it's, it's short. I'm still waiting on a number of things. I did pre-order last year, again, not this year for the no buy. I did pre-order the undated common planner, but I'm thinking about canceling the pre-order and... I don't even know if I can, but just just to get that money back. Okay, I mean, it, it looks like I don't actually have anything else expected as far as mail. So, monthly brain dump. Let's get our things here. So it says, check your quarterly roadmap for things you'd wanted to do by now. Check last month for anything that didn't get done that you still want to do. Transfer your monthly milestones below. Add anything that's new that's come up or you want to try, acknowledge you won't get it all done this month and that is okay. So just going back into here and you know obviously I, I have not filled out my monthly milestones yet. 
I'm hoping to record that video tonight. I still have to do the, the moon phases and ast astrological stuff. And then the seasonal quarterly roadmap. And then I am free until February from filming and, and, and stuff like that. So connection, I want to be homeschooling every day. I want to do a family game night and a date night, morning and evening routine. Maybe that's the other page I can have on the back of that thingy for next month. Oh, I, yeah, I don't know. This is a mess. So this might not, this might not live in here for much longer, but we'll, we'll, we'll find out. So this is going to be habits. We got tarot, journaling. I have multiple journals. So I, I bookend my, my days with my routines. It takes, sorry if you hear my daughter. It, uh, you know, takes about half an hour each time. They're not really consecutive because I have a lot of like interruptions and stuff, but so far, you know, we're, we're only four days into January, but I've been doing a meditation as soon as I wake up because it's accessible on my phone. <laughs> I have not been exercising, though I, I did do my neck exercises this morning in bed before I got out of bed. I have been journaling. I have not been reading or doing my, my physical therapy ex exercises yet. So that's something that I want to build up to. So the, the idea is to, you know, start small um, and, and go from there. So I'm also not doing intermittent fasting yet. I think after my parents go, maybe I will start that next month. Let's just write that. Start in February. I'm still kind of not really sure. Oh yeah, reading. Read 10 pages. PT exercises, neck exercises, meditation. I wanted to do four videos a month for work purposes. I mean, I've already done that for January just because of the, the whole series I'm doing. Home and environment, cleaning routine. I feel like I'm not great with routines, to be honest. I feel like it makes my days into like very robotic, but right. And then we've got, got content plan, fresh start, reset Kanban, which I still haven't done. The Maker's yearbook, workbook I still have to do. It has a lot of like financial stuff in it. And I'm just like, I don't know. It's like my brain shuts down at that. So this is like work stuff. I wanted to start my secret project and I have to do January budget. I would like to start a uh, planner, D-Stash and eBay stuff. Um, that's gonna probably linger forever, but I want to read Shopaholics. I want to also find a, a debtors anonymous meeting. There aren't really any in my state. Um, I, I'm talking about virtually as well. So there's like one that has a question mark and they're all at churches, which makes me a little bit nervous, but I want to make my shop calendar backlog to Etsy. I'm going to play some games. I do want to do the story journal. I do also want to do like a planner system update after one month, planner journals. So that will either be out in February or at the end of January. And I also have to finish filming the Memento Mori Goal Planner series and edit and post. So, so that's the brain dump. And then over here we go. I, I've started on some of the pages. I did, you know, the the second and the third I started and then didn't fill out the journal entry. And then we are on the fourth, which I have not set up yet, especially because that was the sixth, but haven't filled it out yet. Haven't filled that out yet. Lots of things that are just kind of in the middle of, of things. Yeah, I don't, I don't think I like, <laughs> look at this. I want to like this so bad, but I, I just don't know that this is gonna work. Okay, I feel overwhelmed. I also want to do some more Momodi stickers, but like the actual sheets. Again, I don't know that that's gonna be, like I, I still don't know what, if I was selling digital files, what, what kind of things I would need to include um, for people. I mean, like I could just mimic what other people, whoopsie, that was my wedding ring. In the winter, my, my fingers shrink and my rings fall off. So it doesn't, that happen to anybody else? Cause I feel like I'm a freak. Anyway, uh, I don't remember anything I was just saying. So I feel guilty. I need to simplify how I will care for myself journaling, which I've been doing. More on that in a separate video, I guess. Okay, so the main projects this month. So we want to do the Memento Mori goal planning series. There's like way too many um, here, but I think let's just do part six, part seven, part eight, 
and part nine, which is a question mark because I don't actually know. I'm gonna just skip the due dates. They get done when they get done. So I wanna homeschool every day. What is my most important? All right, one and done would be what? So four videos a month. So we're gonna go post a video. Okay, so going, going with my maker's year. So my habit for every day is gonna be my Instagram accountability post on my story. Every week, this, um, every week I want to have an Instagram weekly roundup. One and done. So I think I'm for, okay, I want to write homeschool. I think I'm going to do just morning routine and evening routine because I kind of established what those are. So um, PT exercises, it's going to be twice a week. So I'll, instead of writing like an X, I guess I'll write the number of times. Morning routine, evening routine. This book is getting like lumpy. You could feel like a bump right here because I put a lot of washi on the bottom. I would like to play a game every week. So like, you know, have a night off or something. What is most... Oh, no. No buy. So, I, well, I guess this, this would be the same thing. Let's say January budget. Family game night. Date night. Projects. I'm just going to write business. So I need to do the... Go through the fresh start workbook the maker's yearbook i got overwhelmed by the like the financial aspect of the maker's yearbook and it's just like how much profit did you make last year and i have absolutely no idea like i made money but i definitely spent more money on my business last year than i made so and i guess i didn't make any profit <laughs> but that's you know i don't have any exact numbers so it, it's just like Ugh, it's so overwhelming. I want to read 10 pages. Every week I want to do some design work and work on writing every week. We're gonna go, um, oh, I wanna find a meeting. Oh, I, I also need to content plan for business. And set up story journal. Oh, cleaning, right. So clean bathrooms and vacuum, I guess. All right, let's get the, the template set up I guess. Oh yeah, reset Kanban board. All right, what else was on my monthly? Oh, cancel Love 365. That makes me sad, but it's fine. Maybe I will do the Momodi stickers, sticker sheets, and then I'll I'll work on, you know, like a few a few emotions at, at a time. So we have pleased, that's this one. Depressed, I'm gonna leave two open, maybe infuriated. I might do hot and cold together. I'm not really sure. If you have, if you have any requests for emotion, emoji, you know, whatever, for an emotion sticker, post it in the comment box so I have ideas to go off of. Like I, I have a lot of them done already. But, uh, I, yeah, I don't know. Planner D stash. I feel like that's more of a project. I need one more habit. I don't really need one more habit, but let's go read Shopaholics. Okay, so that's, that's that. And then basically I would, you know, take these habits here and put them on my weekly and, you know, in in the actual, the way I set it up, in, you know, the way, the way I, I set it up, this would be first, then the actual monthly calendar, then this stuff, and then you would go into the weekly. So it, it acts like a funnel, just moving in one direction. And you wouldn't have to be like flipping back and forth and then other booklets and, and stuff like that. So that's why I'm a little bit worried about this. So yeah, that's that's where I'm at right now. It doesn't, doesn't look promising. Maybe things will change and I'll get used to it and it'll be fine. I don't know. Let's put this right here. There we go. Well, thank you very much for watching. If you have an opinion on my Momodis, let me know. If you have any specific emotion that you would like to see made into a, a full sheet of stickers, let me know. I have more to make. Like, I'd love to do one, you know, with a mask for cleaning masks. <laughs> Thanks for watching and subscribe if you want to. Okay, bye.